When we talk about content management to enable uh, sales teams to close big deals, you know, we talk about you know the fact that you know sales teams are still winging it on big deals, and there's you know there's various complexities they have to overcome, many steps in the sales process, many stakeholders, many team members inside their team. Every deal looks different. Um, one of the key problems is, is that throughout this really complex process, there's a lot of content um, that sales teams need to use effectively, um, either off the shelf or to tailor um, content or tailor messaging to the customer throughout this long buying process. And the reality is that uh, cloud storage tools don't really actively help salespeople in big in big deal cycles. So, you know, whether it's on Google Drive or even SharePoint, Dropbox and so on, what you end up with, you know, because these tools are so great at storing information and files, you get a lot of it, but it's very hard to control it in a way that you can actually present content to salespeople in a way that's um, easy for them to find, but actually present them when they actually need it in the, uh, in the sales process. So we're going to look here in this video at how Sales Grid um, actually solves for this problem and, and serves up content at the right time in the right place. So let's check it out. So when you log into Sales Grid here is in our demo site, um, one, of the, one of the first things you'll note is that a salesperson, one of the really useful things is you can see the, uh, the hottest content. So firstly, the first thing I say when I log in is, you know, what are, what are the most frequently viewed shared downloaded content items um, so far in, um, in the last uh, period of time. So that's helpful for salespeople to see what other salespeople are using. But you can also see uh, news in terms of what are the most recently added or updated content items. And you'll actually get, as a user, you'll get an email digest every day of the latest content. So straight out of the box, you're already giving salespeople, you're keeping them up to date with what's going on with your content system. So that's, that's um, a really key benefit. Then the way the content's accessible is really nice in Sales Grid. You've got this more visual approach of thumbnails and the content card. It's not just a listed item. Uh, when you bring up content, you can actually preview it inside the system. You can, um, you can download, you can copy the link. Um, yeah, so here's a, a you know, PDF here from Gong on persuasive demos. And you've got all ways of uh, you know, keyword, using keywords to make it easy to find content. You can use custom tags and so on. So you've got all the, the things you'd expect to have in a, in a content management system. What gets really interesting with Sales Grid is um, you, know, you can actually present uh, content in different ways. So this is actually presenting content in the, the, the stage, you know, the Salesforce stage that, that's most relevant uh, for this piece of content. So for here, for example, I've searched on deck uh, and it's brought up half a dozen cards and you can see there automatically I'm getting a visual cue on what's behind the document, which is really helpful, but I'm also getting a, a cue in terms of whereabouts in the sales process does this content sit. Um, and and going, another really key thing is that, you know, this is, this is purely your whole portal, purely for sales and marketing content. You can then actually categorize it in terms of different custom tags. So for example, here I've got, um, I'm going to switch to a card view here. I can see here I've got 11 cards here that relate to actual medic content. Um, and so all the med, um, well that's, so that tells me this is all the content that relates to medic uh, that's, that's available. Um, so you can create these tags yeah, and it's all about you know the sales and marketing business. You can also uh, categorize content in terms of different playbooks. So again, you're actually serving up relevant content for relevant um, you know sales channels in your business, sales teams, um, and and yeah. So so it's really easy to add content. You can just uh, add add in files. You can add in so any file you can add in. You can link to. Uh, another uh, G Drive or cloud storage system. You can create text cards. You can also create checklists and they'll be soon there'll be an HTML. Uh, there'll be an email type uh, card shortly so you can specifically create um, email templates in here. 
so yes, yeah, so that's a little bit of an intro into um, into the the, the, the uh, content management system in sales group. But again, as we said, yeah, you know, what's really powerful, you know, you've got this whole all the features you'd expect in a content management system, but it's it's related to your sales process. So when we look at the playbook, all the um, the content can be then categorized into different steps in your playbook. So you have this related content here. And that now gives us the ability to serve up content against different actions um, in your process, and um, yeah, really, uh, you know, really help salespeople not only find the content they need, but actually guide them through the sales process and the related content. Um, that's where sales good really kicks in. It's that ability to relate your content system to your to your sales process, which is the playbook. And finally, what's really awesome about Sales Grid, it will be in the next uh, couple of weeks, we're going to have this component, a native component to Salesforce that you can drop in anywhere in your Salesforce instance, but most logically inside your opportunity object so that on any opportunity at any time, you can actually view the playbook with the stage and relevant step that you're in on that opportunity, view all your objectives, exit criteria, actions, but and crucially here, related content and all content. So you're putting all your, your content system at the fingertips of your sales force when they most need it, when they're managing opportunities. And they'll be able to search all content or just view the related content um, to what's specifically on that step. Um, so again, you're, you're providing content in context, you're embedding it inside sales process rather than just having it sit somewhere out on SharePoint on some other app that they're never going to um they're rarely going to actually not they're not intuitively going to go intuitively going to go there or it's here it's embedded inside Salesforce so in summary sales good really helps you get it all together yeah you know, you've got you've got sales process you've got an enormous amount of content both internal and external content uh, you know, custom buyer engagement content, sales support content. It's sitting on, in different places. You know, it might be well organized in SharePoint, but maybe it's on people's desktops and emails um, and so on. So sales grid helps you get it all together in the one place. Excuse me. Um, get it all together in one place in a way that's dynamic and embedded in your process, in your, in your actual sales workflow really helps you invest in best practices over time. So when you launch Sales Grid, you're gonna be ahead of the game already on where you are today, but then over time you can further develop your content, further develop your process, further develop the way you integrate content and process. And ultimately it's gonna boost your ROI in Salesforce because you're adding this really powerful um, enablement tool inside Salesforce to help your sales team close big deals.